today. This is the chapter, regular expression. Um, in the previous um, book club, uh, these chapters, strings are regular expressions, they are the same. Mm. Um, because they are dealing with text in some ways. Um, yeah. They are, you know, uh, yeah, they are the same. So if you look also, and there are a whole bunch of, they are based on what you call string R. So this package string R is come, you know, it deal with, um, dealing with string that we saw last week and even the, you know, all those stuff. So um, the divided chapter now, chapter five, uh, 16, handles regular expressions. Um, so a regular expression is just a way um, you know, to describe patterns within a string. So given a string, um, maybe Abdul, so how can we define a pattern that can detect or some do some kind of manipulation within that strings? So, and they are called, you know, regular expression or regex or this regex P, regex P or something like that, yeah. So whenever you see these regex or this, that's what it means. And, um, we're gonna be using, you know, baby names uh, library. Um, I mean, this kind of uh, file. We have fruits, we have words, we have sentences. All these ones are some kind of data frame. We'll see them. And let's dive in first. Um, some way we use the string view in previous chapter. Uh, where we were able to see like uh, some concept with this function, we we'll use it with regex. So uh, here, this is um, uh, fruits, which is a list of fruit. And what we want to do is we will try to see what, you know, this string view, for example, given fruit, vary. It will try to, you know, so or swear um, there is, berry in this thing. So you can see here we have apple, apple, avocado, banana, bell, pepe. You can see bell, pepe. Number six is bilberry, right? So you can see it detect. Number six, it detect where there is berry. So yeah. this means that uh, under the hood, this function detects the occurrence of this word in this um, vector. So this is a vector. Um, with many words, so it detects, okay, here is a very, in number seven, that is blackberry. So here, if I say head, you know, 10, um, show me the top 10 here. You can see this is um, uh, uh, um, blackberry, right? So it detects, so you can see this is what this um, this does. Now, there are many concepts that um, one need to learn if you want to learn to use, um, you know, uh, regex. Um, the first one here is um, literal characters. So literal characters, um, basically letters and numbers much exactly are called literal, uh, literal characters. So letter and number, we know letter A to Z and numbers one to N. Uh, if you want to match them, they are called literal characters. But they are what we call meta characters. Um, so these whole regular expressions, because it's some way in, uh, we call it a language, let me show. So uh, it's a powerful language. So it means it's a language, you know what I mean? It's yeah. not just like where we have numbers, we, we talk about data. No, regular expression is also a language. It means it has some, you know, kind of terms that we need to understand so that we'll be able to, you know, manipulate, just like you learn R, you know, you know, you need to, so regular expression is a language for the craving pattern. So we need to learn some concept in that. So that's what they are saying. So the first concept we learn is literal character, a number, but meta characters. So apart from literal character, we know uh, now later a number, there are some num uh, term like dot plus times, um, open and close bracket, and this have special meaning and are called meta characters. So these stuff, they have special meaning in regular expression, and we'll be seeing them quite often where they will be used to match characters. For example, if you want to match only one word or many occurrence of word, we'll see an example. So for example, uh, dot here will match character 
uh, will match any character. So let me show us here. Um, you can see string view. We have a vector here. And I have a dot. So when you have this function, string view, is saying detect what is here inside here. More or less where we have detect very inside this vector where it show is detect, uh, you know, it, it show us how this. So detect a, um, detect a dot inside this. So what is dot here means? It means detect a one, um, uh, detect any uh, a, then match any string that contain an a followed by any, any character. So means dot means any, match anything. So um, you can see when we run this, what do you expect to return here, Abdul? Hello, Abdul. Hello. Okay, so yeah, I'll like we'll have like a followed by what what comes after a. Okay, so we can see here. Um, yeah, match anything character. So we can see here. Uh, we have um, you know, um, uh, you can see we have a here. There was this one, and uh, we have. This, we have this. So all this one, you can see they have not been detected. What detect, or was detected is A, uh, let me. Yes, like the only, the, the ones that had A followed by something, something like that. Yeah. So we have this one, only this one. Um, there isn't anyone that with A that is followed, right? Yeah. What about this one? Yeah, it, it indicates that that's the second one. It has yes. A, B. And and this one, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's um, what it does. Um, um, what about this? Um, we have three dot a dot dot dot. We'll find all the fruit that contain an a followed by three letters followed by an e. So yeah. here a, then anything, 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 anything. So when we run this guy, so you can see here we have from our fruits. Um, you know, uh, this uh, a we can see then some later something. So that's you know, um, some stuff we need to know. Uh, in terms of character in regular expression, we have literal and meta character. And what they would do is they would take us all these literal character and whatsoever to learn that. But before we move on, it's good for us to look at this guy. Um, so if you look at that, because I really like um, this um, cheat sheet, it gives you, you know, a very concise, um, you know, uh, idea what you'd be doing. So if we look at this guy, this is a cheat sheet for regular expression uh, or just a concise language for describing patterns. So now um, what we saw uh, now, um, we have what we call quantifiers. They are called quantifiers. They tell us how many. We need, oh, we, we will come them, uh, we'll come over them. Let's move on. Okay, quantifiers. Um, quantifier control how many times a pattern can match. So we have this question mark makes a pattern optional or matches zero or one times. Um, we have, uh, hmm. Which one is this? Let a pattern, let me shoot this. Um, blah, 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 blah. Sorry. Yeah, it's plus and this is it. Oh, okay, when you put, or maybe I need to do like this. Ah, uh, okay. Plus, yeah. Then this. Okay, so, um, these are called quantifiers. They allow you to match some stuff. Um, let's look at what this means. Um, okay, so for example, when we have A, B, then question mark, matches an A, then optionally followed by B. So question mark means, makes optional, matches zero or one times. So let's look at this. I have A, B, A, B. It means matches anything from here that has 
A followed by B or not followed by B. Or, or, or there is no B or A only. So this is it makes a pattern optional. It's optional. Um, when we run this, so you can see it returns everything, right? Because A is not followed by B because B is optional. A, B is followed by B. Um, A, B, B is. So this is it. Um, Abdul, do you want to add something on this? Uh, if I do not, um, you know, understand, um, make it clear. No, I, I think this is quite clear. Okay. And yeah. the, next, the next I've one. I've read up to this point. I didn't read the whole chapter, but I've read uh, to this point. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, right. And another one is um, a plus me matches an A followed by at least one B. So this one is what we call um, uh, uh, match, it matches at least once. So here we have this. Uh, from here we have AB plus. So when we run this guy, uh, it will show us um, B plus means B then at least. So we have two Bs here. So here is zero or one. Here plus is at least one. Um, but yeah. we have asterisk or star matches an A followed by any number of. So what con may confuse somebody is the number one question mark and asterisk. So question mark makes an optional, a pattern optional. That is zero or one. There is one, one times or zero. But yeah. star asterisk makes a pattern optional or repeat. So the question mark does not repeat, but asterisk, um, they shift yeah, on things. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. So you can see here, we have this, you know, every star here. It can be, you know, something like this. So you can see the output here for the previous one, ABB, ABB is here. But uh, here, because there is, you know, uh, zero, um, there is, uh, um, you know, um, oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, yeah, it's still the same thing. So that's, uh, you know, basically these called quantifiers. So here we can see we have seen three quantifiers. But if you go to here, you see there are many more quantifiers that uh, you may be able to see. So here, for example, you can see A, question mark, 0, or 1. So you can see this is an example. Um, A, question mark, so it will, you know, do this. A star, 0, or more. And you can see there. A plus 1, or more. Mm -hmm. And what about this, Abdul? Have you seen this? Uh, no, 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 I've not, I've not seen this. OK, exactly n times. So for example, here you can see which is 1, or more, whatsoever. If we have A, then bracket, open bracket, put two, it means exactly two times. So here is the A2, exactly two, right? Yeah, because like it's, it's going to repeat A exactly that number of times. Exactly. But here we are saying one or more N number, they continue. But if you want to exact, then what about this? A N comma N or more, two or more. Mm. So for example, you don't want to, um, you know, where N appears, um, you know, uh, one times, you want where particular something appear from two to up, so you can use this N like this, so N or more. And here between N and M, the occurrence of A between N and M, quantity between this, so where it appears between two and four. So these are called quantifiers, and they allow us to quantify the occurrence of some, you know, stuff in this. All right. Um, Yes, so now we have seen quantifiers. Um, yeah, Abdul, you want to add something? Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so the, the next one here we have is character classes. So what are character classes? Um, so character classes are defined by, you know, this. I let you match a set of characters. So for example, here I have open bracket and close one at A, B, C, D. It will match A, B, C, D, O, D. It will match this stuff. Um, so you can also embed this. So here, this is embed sign. Um, this sign is embed. If we have this, matches anything except A, B, C, O, D. So you embed it. Um, we can use this idea to find what containing X. Okay, so let's look at an example. So here we have, um, you know, another vector of what? So here we can see uh, uh, Abu about absolute accept account. Now. Um, this character class, so why are they called class? Um, they are classes in the sense that um, they are character because A, B, C, D, we remember here, um, they are called, um, you know, character, but 
um, letters, character, literal characters, right? So what this means is that character class, so it's a class of characters. So for example, I put this, there are some characters, so they are put together, they are called character class. Uh, yeah, so um, now if, for example, I have now a vector of words, um, many words like this, and now I want to find, um, you know, um, uh, um, you know, uh, something, for example, word containing an X surrounded by balls. So you can see this is an X and surrounded here by balls and uh, here. So, <clears throat> so we can see this is a character. So any, if we have X and uh, there are some balls in it and it can, you know, put, uh, so here we can see here we have, you know, um, X, right? And there is A, which is bo E, which is ball and A, which is ball. So it returns. I remember here the character class, it can matches one or two or three. So here you can see it matches one, one or something like that. Um, anything, any of this, it can matches any of this, whether E or, or something like that. Um, you know, you can negate as well. So for example, um, we can use this idea to find the word containing an X follow uh, surrounded by a ball or Y surrounded by a consonant. So we can see here, um, you know, um, we have words and we have Y and we said he are not surrounded by vowels. So if it is not surrounded by vowels, then it is surrounded by what? Um, by consonants, if, yeah. Yeah, if it is not surrounded by vowels, then it is surrounded by consonants. So this is a negation. So yeah, so these are called um, character classes. So if we look at this, um, we will see what this means. So um, look at them here. You can see this one. So here is digit, which I believe will come to it. Um, I, maybe I think we will um, come to that one. Uh, let me leave it. Um, yeah. So here we can see um, uh, one of this one, one of these, which we saw now, A, B, E, one of these, which is this, uh, yeah. Uh, the next one we will see is um, alternate alternation. So this one, um, you know, you can use this to pick between one or more alternative pattern. For example, the following pattern looks for fruit. So here we can see we have apple, melon, nut, and basically this alternation will allow you to pick it just like O. So we can see here this, you know, uh, simply yeah. this is just alternation, just like an O. So um, that's called, you can see the register pattern A, B, D, D, O, which means O matches this A, B, O, D. So for example, now here, if I have this, it will matches, if I have A, B, C, D, it will matches A, B in the text A, B, C. Or if I have um, a text called D, E only, it will matches uh, D only. So this is called, um, you know, all this stuff, they are called alternates um, because they select something uh, from uh, pull up something uh, stuff. So they are called alternate. All right. So um, we can see here also among the alternate, we can see A to C range of some stuff. So you can see here, um, you, when I have A to C, it will select anything uh, because this A to C is, uh, you know, letters. It so rejects no letters. So when you say A to uh, M, he, you, he knows, rejects expression knows you mean from A, B, C, D up to M. So here, when I say A to C, it means A, B, C, D, E. And we have seen this one, anything but, uh, which is negation. We have seen this one. Um, we have now seen this one. Um, yeah, so um, Abdul, anything you want to add? Yeah, so the last one, the, the, the range, it's like, a, is it A minus C in the, in the, in the bracket? Is it? Okay. Um, it looks so, very like that. Mm -hmm. So let's see this. Um, uh, for example, here we can see words. And uh, let's put this guy here. Uh, to um m so this is um oh 
Oh, it's very. No, no, no. Okay. This uh, all kind of example. And okay, okay. Let me just use this one. A to C. So yeah, yeah. So it like it gives the the the, the range, the, all the numbers between that interval, sort of. Yes, yes, exactly. So you can see here it detects A to C. So this is not minus. It's just like what do you call it? Is it dash or what do you call it? Yeah, dash. Yeah, I, I, maybe it's a dash. Uh, you could easily, uh, uh, yeah, it's a dash. Sorry. Yes, dash, dash. So it just matches um this stuff. So yeah. So um, I think this is all about you know alternates. So we know understand what these alternates are, and they are really helpful. Um, yeah. And now we understand also about quantifiers, um, which allow us to select some stuff, one, zero, or whatever, or even given exactly some numbers that we want to match. Um, so now these are some of the stuff we have seen now. Um, what we're gonna see is uh, some of other function next that will help you you know to match some stuff so for example here we have uh um, instead for uh we have some functions for example that allow you to do automatic match we'll see them now um so the key functions um detect matches so that is what is called string detect so string detect allows you to detect the you know presence of some stuff in you know particular so here i have vowels here and now I want to detect, um, you know, uh, if there is any vowel inside my vector. So when I run this, you can see here, but it, what it returns here, um, the first one here is um, uh, vowel is a true, here B is false, here is false because it's so string detect, um, it returns, um, you know, uh, uh, um, logical vector, which is true if, uh, something is true if not this so this is it so why is this important let's see an example here what uh, a use case where this string uh, this will, can be really useful so let's assume we have this baby names so oh no um you know okay let's assume we have this uh, you know uh, data frame of baby names and we can see here uh, let me look at this okay so you can see the name, uh, baby names we have here, sex, name, number of, you know, proportion in the data set. So we have this information and what we wanna do is try to see, okay, um, what, which name does have X in it? We want to return the names that they do have X in them, right? And all names that they do not have X in them, just discard them. So one good idea is this, um, you know, I can use this guy. So is this, so I say baby names, filter, string detect, detect where name, can you see there? Because I'm using the yeah. name, there is X in it to detect. So you can see here, the total I have is 1 million nine two or whatever. So when I run this, look at the total now, 16,000. It means yeah. it, it 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 throw away everything anywhere that the names there is no um you know occurrence of x. So string detect is just telling you are just telling the detect return uh, detect a return. Do you know because you we use filter here, remember? So yeah, string yeah. detect will show us where it is true. String detect um will show where is true, where is for, and now um filter where is already so yeah. So this is string detect that allow you to do that. Um, but what about if I said, okay, um, return where the X, where those that the, without X, so I can use this negation. You can see negation, this negation. Now, when I use this negation, I run this guy. Now it will return, can you see the other ones that they don't have the X in them. But what if, if you use the alternate, like the, the raised to symbol, like the alternate with the X, will it will it be the same as using this negation? 
Uh, okay, the alternate, which one? Yeah, like we had that, that, that symbol that stands for alternate. Okay, um, this one? Yeah, like no, the, 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 the rest of symbol. Uh, okay, this one? Yeah, pull it, pull it. Oh, okay, so let's see this. Um, I don't know, because I think that it should be in a quality bracket sort of, I think. Yeah. It should be in a bracket. I don't think it will, it will work. You want us to use like this? Yeah, and then we have that uh, symbol and see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure it will work, but I'm just saying that since- Yeah, yeah, I understand. Let me see, let, me, let us try. Um, yes, that is anything but that, what that, that uh, thing. Uh, how do we put this uh, this symbol that they get? I didn't even. <laughs> I think the I think shift. Uh, if you are using Mac, shift. Yes, I'm using Mac. Yeah, shift six maybe should work. Shift six. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Let's see. Okay. Uh, okay. So you can see here we have this guys. This number. Why would why won't it work? Uh, let's see. Yeah, yes. so it, yeah, it works. All right. So it's, it's the same as using the, the, the negation. It's all the same. We'll give yep. it the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it's not the same. I think it's given us some. The numbers are a, a bit different. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, so what this is doing, let's look at it. Anything but. Yeah, but this uh, numbers we have. But, These okay. letters we have inside ah, the bracket. So, uh, so this is what he's saying. Um, uh, but anything but this. So this is telling us, uh, you know, um, detect anything, um, mm -hmm. but this one, A, B, A. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You put me into thinking. Yeah, I think this is, uh, it's, it's like. <laughs> yeah. the, the, anything but. Uh, I think. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, well, I think, I think if we will, it's, it's not, it's not very, it is not very. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's something that we can think about it. Uh, I'm just thinking and don't have the answer right now. Maybe we yeah, can. Yeah, but we can move on. And then if you have any stuff, yeah, we could just put it in. Can, yeah, we can figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, you know, so we can see here, like string detect allow us, you know, to detect something. And now using this one, as I told you, it to do this. So the, you can see this is helpful to do the detect, but um, you know. Now, after we do the detail, we can do count the name where and sort them where they are this stuff. So you can see here. So here um, we know this is count. So when, when it does the string detect, so for example here. So here it does the string detect, right? Um, we have this, we have this is a number. Um, Roxy, we have this number, this and this, this is a proportion. So now when we do this, it count um name, um count name. And sort them into true and uh, with n. So here we can see this. Um, yeah. So um, yeah. So this is um, um, string detect. Uh, uh, yeah. So this is where I also stop my notes. So <laughs> yeah, I think we can stop here because I'm even. I I usually play it away by ten with some other guys. So ah, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe I don't know. Um, next week are we going to continue, or are we go on another chapter? What do you think? Oh, yeah, I, I think we could just continue the chapter and complete it. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. All right. Complete. Okay. So and I, I, the timing. Do you do you think uh, there is any way we could? Uh... 
No, let's that. continue we can manage um you know um because um you, so that we cannot disturb the uh you know yeah because i think if you want to suggest anything it might cause some disruption something like yeah. That. Mm -hmm. yeah okay yeah let's leave it as the um few weeks uh yeah and now like next week we when we do um more or less then remaining two weeks so yeah 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 so it's it's not a, a big deal yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, Abdul, see you next yeah, week. I don't know if we will ever get Ahmad again, but in any case, I, I think we'll just continue. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. See you next week, inshallah. Ahmad. Yeah, see you, inshallah. Yeah, ciao.